Today's artist of the day, Sydney Rose. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Artist of the Day. Today's episode is Sydney Rose. This is the second take because the first video got corrupted and it was two days ago and through my rage of trying to get it together and get it right, I thought this wasn't fair to her. You know, we want to make the best content. And plus the good thing is I low-key sometimes have the memory of a fucking goldfish. That being said, I don't really remember half the songs because since it was a while. So what we're going to do is we're going to redo it. I have to look at the discography again to see what the hell I even listened to because again, I've been swamped in work, so I forgot what the hell I listened to. But anyways, we're not here for that. Today's artist of the day, Sid Sydney Rose. Now, Sydney Rose was recommended to me on the list of people by Mason Embers. Shout out to him, who also helped me catch the fuck up on the first video. So, praise be to that man. Praise be to him. Um, Yeah, so, and I... Plan to check her out. I took a little glance at her Instagram, like a, a little bit of back when he first sent that to me. And I noticed that she had a very massive following. She was actually one of the more, the bigger, while well, she was still wasn't, well, she obviously wasn't mainstream yet. She had one of the bigger uh, followings uh, with her top song being 30 million streams. Uh, her average uh, monthly listeners were 673, pretty much, really she's seven followers, seven listeners away from 674,000. So that's pretty big. Uh, who she is, I'm going to read her Spotify, uh, her Spotify descriptions, because I feel like that would do a better job. It's pretty long, pretty lengthy, so we're going to read it, and then talk about it, and then we'll go into the music. With just breathy vocals and acoustic guitar strums, Sydney Rose began to make waves from her Georgia bedroom. Oh, she's a local girl. Big up the locals. Big up the locals. Let's go, baby. Inspired by YouTube music. Sensations like Doty, Cave Town, and Conan Gray, the 18-year-old artist started releasing covers and original music on TikTok, quickly amassing a large following and over 7 million likes on the platform. That's fucking huge. But how much money? But listen, listen. Genuine question. How much money are you making? And can a brother get some? Rose began releasing music on Spotify in 2020 with her cover of Sleeping At Last's Turning Page, accumulating over 30 million streams and drawing attention from labels, industry taste makers. So basically, what I've learned is two things. A, Mason's trying to kill me again. Two, she's, he sent me another certified hood classic, essentially. For Rose, music is her therapy. Though she often feels alienated by her surroundings, music has always been there to provide catharsis. From a young age, she's learned to play ukulele, guitar, and piano. And she also sang her church worship band. Okay, so to say she's a music child is a severe, severe understatement. After realizing her vocals were not best suited for Broadway stardom, she became more comfortable with the folky airness of her natural voice, which is now a staple of her sound. It also suits her love of indie folk mainstays like Phoebe Bridgers, Daughter, and Bon Iver who she frequently covers on TikTok alongside some of today's biggest pop artists. And I'll leave a link to obviously her shit and uh, her Instagram down below. Um, yeah. So with that being said, uh, before we get into that, I do have to make a disclaimer since she did specify. Um, and obviously this is the case with a lot of artists, but it's very personal, but I do have to specify this so that I don't get crucified in the next two to three days. All reviewings of uh, of this music is solely based on the music. Nothing against the person of or the artist is solely against, of what I'm hearing. I understand that is personal, so I will be careful what I have to say. But with that being said, if it's dog shit, I'm going to say it's dog shit. If it's fantastic, I'm going to tell you it's fantastic. I'm not going to sugarcoat. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to mince words or be uh, disingenuous. And I'm also not going to kiss ass. If it's great, I'll tell you it's great. If it's not. I'm going to tell you it's not and why, not just tell you that it's dog shit. But the fact that you were sent that, uh, Sydney, even if you ever see this, you know, because I know the first video got tried to get sent to you. It was dog shit. My apologies. Um, yeah, I expect a lot because of the simple fact that I, though I have a faint memory that you were good. I don't remember everything you said. I don't remember everything I said because I deleted that video off of YouTube and I was annoyed. I was very annoyed. Plus Mason sent you to me. And if, if you, since you're new around here, Mason sent me a list. Every single person has not missed yet. Now, that being said, you are next up. So we're going to listen to your top five most recent tracks. Um, I remember, actually, we're going to remember which tracks to listen to. It was your uh, five, 
four most recent no yeah four most recent tracks and then we'll listen to the first song you ever released which i believe was the cover of home one of my favorites so that's the only thing i really remember um so with that being said we're going to listen to uh the first track i made dropped in 2021 called i don't know what i did hey oh yeah how are you? it's all coming back to me now Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! So she's so so okay. It's slowly coming back to me, but I don't remember all of it. I'm glad I don't remember it. This is, this is fantastic. This is fantastic so far. Her voice fits in the indie folk sound. Um, you know, uh, yeah, pretty good so far. It's a love. I love the the work and simplicity, and the fact that she sounds like uh, Life is Strange, which is again one of the greatest games I've ever played, and uh, a favorite of mine. And um, yeah, so the fact that she started off that well, I am very very happy with. So we're gonna see where the hell this goes. Talk to every day, I don't know Stop! I'm going to cry. What is happening? I'm gonna cry. I love the interludes that she has in here, though. I love that. I've been trying to think, okay. But I don't oh, okay. I know what this is about. So this song is about being pushed away. And again, this is something I, you know, this is this very hits very close to home. Um, one thing I do remember saying um, that I, I'm hearing immediately is that her voice is a lot deeper than you know the stereotypical. Oh, she sounds like Cave, the, that female person in Cave Town, or not? Yeah. She, she didn't sound necessarily people like like the style of K-Town. She doesn't necessarily sound like the style of Billie Eilish. It, you, you could hear it, but her voice has a, a, a more full, full, deeper sound that, you know, would make it more like that sounds like that could be them, but that sounds like that's someone else at, at the same time. And I hate kind of being like, oh, you sound just like this. Oh, you sound just like this. Because obviously I, my, always, my biggest thing is always when I rate people, the biggest thing is like, do you have an original sound? Um, but I don't go too hard because that's, again, one of the hardest things to do. It doesn't actually come to everybody. But there's a certain aspect of her voice that I don't really hear um, in that many people that I listen to. But the theme of the song, obviously, so far, I'm listening to, it's like, you know, it's, it's the telling of, again, this in my interpretation of the fact that, you know, you're watching someone that you were also very close, your best friend, someone you're talking to, a relationship, a lover, this, that, and the other, is pushing you away essentially the art it's the the experience of being pushed away and knowing you're being pushed away and not understanding when that switch happened where in that relationship did you did that plateau and go down and that's something i can relate to a lot because that's actually happened to me very a lot like pretty much almost on a daily basis so i could definitely relate to this and you can definitely hear how the music is personal like it's very hard for people to have um so you can see you can see how they feel when they're singing but you can definitely picture the the tightness in her chest as she's talking about this situation and the situation she kind of tells it like um again this like, i'm saying all this with a minute and 40 into the fucking first song but you know i like when music makes me think so anyways yeah i, I um but in general, I, I like where this is going. It's a, th it's it, it, you can picture the way she portrays. I lost my train of thought. Sorry. The way that she tells and tells the story, the way she's singing it, she's telling the way her voice sounds and the pain that it kind of sounds like a little bit, and the kind of like that performance that she, the headspace she got in, sounds like it just happened. Like in that moment, she's it happened, and then she came up with the song like a day or two later. Um, which, you know, sounds like it's definitely a very, very personal. And with that, it's perform but in, in that personal stuff, it's performing really well. That was a lot of rambling and for just a minute and forty. I'll shut the fuck up now. Oh man, I didn't oh. just tell me what I did and I'll do better next time. Oh, oh my god, my chest. Oh, oh. <laughs> that hurts. I'm not even an emotional nigga, but if I was I'd be bawling my fucking eyes. I know if I showed my mom that she'd be over there crying her fucking heart out if she heard this shit. Oh! I need to give this girl a hug. Figure out why you're getting up in me. 
Wait, what? No! You told me everything happens for a reason, but I still can't figure out why you're getting up and leaving. <laughs> I almost died. <coughs> oh, God. That was phenomenal. That's crazy. That's... <clears throat> oh, God. See, I knew it. They tried to take a, this assassination on my life. You know, I'm, I'm suing both of y'all, you know, because I almost choked on my own saliva trying to talk. I'm suing both of y'all. For what? Endangerment in the workplace. Returning of the shirt is some real shit, man. That's some shit. This is life is strange. Life is strange. She's in the cafe right now. No. No. I want to cry. No, it's the first track. It's the first. That was, I don't know what I did. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself after this. I'm going to probably go lay down and think about where my life is at this point. That was phenomenal. That was really, really good. Um, I love uh, the little interludes slot and the little extra stuff. I always love when people, that cause people add stuff like that. I'm talking way too fast. I love when people add stuff like that because it shows that not you're not just a singer you're an artist if that and that adds another level of detail to where i'm like you understand art you understand performance you understand that you have to stand out in a crowd in a genre that everybody's doing essentially kind of the same thing i love the sound of her voice i love how it's so stripped away and simple and how she keeps her voice kind of low to make it more of an intimate kind of experience I like how, um, again, the just the atmosphere of, you know, the crowd, the phone call, the phone ringing, some of the biting lyrics that she has in here. You said everything happens for a reason, but I still can't figure out why you're getting up and leaving. <sighs> just tell me what I did and I'll do better next time. Oh my God. This also, uh, it's, a, it's portrayed very accurately and through a very relatable lens. Um... I can definitely appreciate this because not a lot of people kind of talk about this in, in this uh, detailed way and don't perform it this well. And like I said, this is the first track we heard. Mason, you're going to kill me on camera. What the fuck? I'm, I'm mad at you. No, real shit. Like, like I'm, I, please understand. I don't know if you, 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 you know Mason. You know, I'm mad at him because he's tried to kill me like on three to four separate times now on camera. I don't appreciate this. I don't appreciate you doing this. Next track is Skydive, and um, judging by the Polaroid um, album cover, this is screaming class. The hood is gonna love this. The streets gonna love it. I had to get something to drink, I almost choked again. <sighs> There's nothing in this but Coca-Cola. We're out of water bottles, all right? I didn't feel like getting a cup, look. Chop. Again, next track is Skydive. No. Oh, no, 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 We might have to, no, 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 no. See, nah, you know what? I just thought of something. It's y'all niggas. Y'all the reason the file corrupted. There's no reason. This eight, I'm recording on an HP laptop, and y'all niggas are about to overheat my computer again. If this fucks up again, I know it's y'all fault. I'm in Arcadia Bay. I'm in Arcadia Bay, bro. I'm in Arcadia Bay. No, I'm in Colorado Springs, Life is Strange 3, with the true colors, where it just, no, it's fantastic. No, no, <laughs> uh, no, no, what is she on? At the end of the day, I was polluting the sky. I was too scared to jump out the, what, what? You niggas don't, you niggas don't understand. You don't understand. She's just different. They're just different. Why am I, bro? Give me some of this talent. They're built different. Oh no! Who did the production on this? Cause I need to. Know. Jake Aaron, let me just tell you something, sir. That you and and, and you and um and uh Sydney over here. Yeah, I'm charging you for attempted murder. My heart cannot take this, man. My heart can't take this. Like, there's no way. There's no way! The song is called Skydive, and the atmospheric sounds sound like I'm flying. It sounds like I'm floating, never to let down. This is some Donda shit. No! So so this track is about growing up. It's about... Oh, it's a, it's, it kind of has a lot of things, actually. I, a lot of things I pick out is, like, obviously, um, 
your dreams and realizing the perspective of in the perspective of the world and the perspective and the of the realistic attainability of your dreams um once you grow up being scared to go after those dreams because you just don't know if you'll make it you don't know if once you make it it's everything you want it to be um you don't know if you have any goals past the big one you know and that can cause a downward spiral i've seen that many times in um celebrities tyson fury is a great example of that i can relate to that a lot you know because it's just being like too scared to jump and and, and 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 too scared to be taking that risk and you know thinking about all the things you could do but again you're just too scared and there's something inside you that wants you to do it but you're too scared to do it i might be going two layers deep people just be like it's not that serious it's just a hey hey hey, hey, hey shut up this is for this is just so it's just so colorful man it's just so it's just i'm floating like this feels like what the remnants of magic in disney films feel like just like is this what it what felt like to be a lost child from Neverland, always on the run from Peter Pan? Fuck it, is my talking about? Ah, you were polluting the sky. No. She wants to jump before it's too late. What time is it? What? what I need to know the time. What, what? What's? What's the time? It's time to God to come pick me up. Oh. No, video's over, bro. Ten thousand feet above the ground. Y'all about to put me put six feet under it? Like, stop playing. Ten thousand feet above the ground. You niggas trying to put me six feet under it? I'm mad at y'all, man. That's not fair. I'm telling y'all, this video fucks up. It's your fault. It's your fault. Your fault. I don't care what anybody says. I'm charging you for this HP laptop. You're getting me a better setup. <laughs> Why are you still going? I'm sorry for disrespecting you. Nah, she's di nah. It's different. Like y'all don't under. I don't think y'all comprehend how different this is. Like, I'm serious about this, Mason. I'm, I'm, I'm fighting you when I see you. I don't know if I want to hug you or punch you. Cause this is some bullshit. I already texted you the first time, and you're making me listen to this again. And I'm now it's all coming back to me about why I was upset at you when I texted you. Yeah. The atmosphere in that track does it the most for me. Lyrics and topic are obviously phenomenal. Production is phenomenal, but the, just the atmosphere. Um, see, title this. This is a very fitting title because um, it, it does feel like you're even in the atmosphere. It feels like you're falling. It feels like you're fall. I picture myself falling and floating, falling and rising at the same time. It's kind of just oh, for it, the way it's always building in this this ascension, and then we get to this point and it, the the ascension doesn't waver, and then it closes. And then you're left with nothing. And that's fucking art. We got three more tracks left. It's only two. God still need to come pick me up. Next track. Phoebe. 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 Philip. Phoebe told me. Phoebe told me. What did Phoebe tell you? Phoebe needs to tell you to chill the fuck out before this computer breaks again. We need to focus on okay. Me. Yeah. So okay. That I do remember. She's like, that mic is in your throat right now. Eventually, I won't have the need of yeah. I, Phoebe told me to focus on me, so I went out and bought meds and tea. What is she on? She told you she's on meds and tea. I'm on meds right now, too, though. And I ain't never seen this shit like that. Listen, listen, Sydney, if you ever see this, and this is hopefully renders right, you know what I'm saying? This is some bullshit. This is some bullshit right here. Like, it really is some bullshit. Like, like the fact that you have all this talent and this phenomenal shit and you ain't mainstream yet is, I don't know, that's, a, that's, that's, a, that's, that's some bullshit on the system, bro. Don't worry. Me and my homies got you. you you're probably not going to see this, but me and my homies got you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I understand why she's so close to the mic, but that's really the only thing I, I'm just like... If you're gonna be that close, it wasn't mixed the best. It could have been mixed a little bit better. She sounds like way too. 
But that being said, I still love it though. I still, it's still the intimacy um, is is definitely being shown for sure. Um, Joe Rubel is to produce this. It's very good, I guess. And I just think the mixing is just a bit off on her voice. Um, but I like what she's talking about so far. Um, um, kind of just, I don't know. It feels like a song that she's realizing how alone and she truly is, and finally understanding that you know that's okay, and that she can finally focus on bettering herself when she gets past these feelings of hating how alone she is and how distant she feels from everything. And this definitely ties back into um, what she said in her bio about feel that ice level isolation. And again, um, a lot of it is, excuse me, a lot of the isolation comes from just even just being yourself. And I, as, and again, I relate to that heavy because that's literally been <laughs> funny. Enough. The story of my life. Oh, just aside, I like where this is going. That's uh, something I really relate to. Another theme that she's portrayed beautifully. I'll shut up now and play the rest of the song. Yeah! <laughs> she made it. She read it again. Bro, 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 what did I say? I swear to God, I told you I don't remember this track. I don't remember. I told you. What did I say? What did I say? Bro, I called it. I called it. I help co-produce, by the way. You always see me in the credits. This is the deluxe version coming out. You know, I'm on there. E. Nah, but I called it. I called it, though. You know, it's, you know, saying, I wanted to do things, but nobody cared. Instead, I went out, and everybody stared at the girl who wanted to do something she loved. Loved. Ugh. Yes. That sums it up. You know, this is kind of just getting, understanding that and getting over that. And I think this is a much more internal battle than it is an external thing and um, this is definitely more things of like you know i'm fine by myself i like the world didn't accept me for who i was i'm better off by myself because i know who i am and i can still figure it out and i'm comfortable with myself because that's all i've ever had at the end of the day at the end of the day man you can hear the pain and how it can still fuck with them um in this song too she definitely has understands that performance you know like i said off record I just hope you're okay, and if you need anything, come holla. I know you don't know me from Adam, but still, I offer that in the most genuine fuck the music shit on a person level. If you if you need somebody, I'm literally a text away. If I've learned one thing in my experience of talking to females on this planet, regardless of age or context, friends, related, romantic, whatever, I have learned whenever they say they're fine, they're usually full of. Here go skies are keeping me What are you? Like, like what? I don't know what to do with my hands. God still need to come pick me up. I'm not kidding. Just, you know, talking about, you know, all those things and just saying it'll be fine. And Phoebe told her that, you know, that you need to focus on yourself. Now, if Phoebe's a reference to the inspiration, the artist that she put in her song, in the bio, she's a genius. Because I just, wait, wait, no. I just thought of that. If Phoebe, the music, one of her songs told her, you need to focus on yourself. And she took that as inspiration and changed her. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Video over. Video over. Song is just phenomenal. It's great atmosphere. You know, it's just all this stuff. Together. It's just great. It's just great. It's just great. Don't know how I feel. Like I said, there's certain parts where, the, the, where she's like, little bitches. You know, uh, where like, you know, at the beginning it was very in your face, but I, I kind of mellowed out to the track, so I wasn't mad at it, but I just think mixing could have been a little bit better, but instrumental, uh, besides that, I love it. I love it. I do love what she was going for, though, because I, it understands that's definitely one of the more intimate songs I've heard from her. Fourth song is Things That Don't Exist. <laughs> uh, no! I only thing I remember from this track is that Zach 
sounds like a fucking angel and them together is probably what made my audio fuck up. I just pray that this video doesn't fuck up. I pray because this is phenomenal. Like, thank God you weren't dog shit and I had to listen to you, uh, listen to you being awful twice. I would have been even, I would have genuinely been upset. Oh no. <laughs> Cancel all my plans, I'm waiting at the window. You're waiting at the window. See, nah. 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 My necklace broke. That's fucked up. Look what, see, what could you do? You break your shit now. If she holds that note ever in the song, I'm gonna, actually, my heart's gonna blow up. She's made that note. Things that don't exist. Expecting change. She said things that don't exist. Is she comparing it to, like, childlike dreams and believing in, like, Santa and all that shit? Believing in... Your promises is the same thing in believing in things that don't exist. That's deep. If she's dissing someone, by the way, that's a deep diss. That you can, I just compared your shit to Santa Claus, my nigga. To, to me, your promises are like the Easter Bunny, my nigga. But I could hear it buzzing. <laughs> Why? No. How do you? How do you make? How do you make talking about a phone buzzing sound beautiful? Like I don't. It's some bullshit. Like, I need y'all niggas to help me out, bro. I'm, I'm trying to make it in this music thing. And it's some bullshit. It's some bullshit. It really is some bullshit, man. I'm trying to make my music go up. And and y'all just over there sounded fantastic. Like, what can you do? What can you do? Shameless plug. Go stream. That's okay on all platforms. Balance ones. My music group. All platforms. Please. Please. I need some money. Toby, that's what love is. <laughs> oh, God. You got me all in my head Hope you're Be quiet. Stupid I'm waiting just like a kid. Oh my Leaving things that don't exist. Uh, <laughs> my heart, it's dying. Uh, ah. Bro, I might cry for the first time in legitimately 13 years i haven't cried well did i do the math 12 years i haven't cried since i was five and this is some bullshit this is some bullshit and y'all might make me do it if y'all make me do it y'all are amazing thank god i'm not emotional if i was emotional despite that being said i'm acting like a fucking dumbass but i digress if i was emotional this cup is empty now if i acted was emotional I would have gone probably about two tissue boxes by now. I'm gonna keep it real. This already might be one of the best things that I ever fucking reviewed. Like, like, what is happening? What is happening? This is about a wait. Wait, no. This is about a toxic relationship, and I got that beginning, but the switch up at the end, saying like I'm, but I recognize that these. I believe in your promises and I know they're fake, but no matter what, I'm still going to keep trying and I'm never going to grow up and realize and move past you. And everybody knows it's a waste of time. No, wait, this is real. Bro, there's so many, like the amount of petty I'm about to be and send this to so many people in my life. And I'd be like, this is y'all situation right now. This is y'all situation right now. And a beautifully packaged acoustic balladry this is what y'all situation is some of y'all niggas need to hear this oh my god the, the the movie scheme the movie scheme i should be rolling the credits the movie's a lie you're not the one but that's not the fairy tale ending oh what getting jumped i'm getting jumped and they're gonna be thinking i'm kissing ass and i promise you i'm getting jumped Ghost in the hallway, we about to walk in I just, everything is beautiful right now. Like, everything is just, like, you know what? I don't even know why I put on this hat. Like, why am I here? Why? Life is strange. No, life is strange. Everything is great. This is just, this is just fantastic. You know, and I didn't, the greatest thing is I didn't remember all this. I didn't remember all this. I genuinely didn't. I genuinely wholeheartedly did not remember half of this shit. I didn't pick up half this shit the first time and I'm picking up now and I'm loving this. Final track, home. 
And I know it's a cover. <laughs> I know it's a cover. <laughs> it's a cover of Home. My top phone. Oh, no. It's by Edith Whiskers. On, well, who is it? I'm pretty sure it's Edith Whiskers. Or whoever the hell it's by. But my favorite version. I, as much as I love the original version. Well, my favorite version is the one by Tom Rosenthal. Like, hands down. And if this somehow tops that. I don't know if I'm going to die or get naked on camera. She's at the beach. Oh, no. No. What is she doing? I'm just saying. She whistles in this. I'm walking off. I promise you. She whistles like how they usually do it. I'm walking off. Also, fun fact, Sydney, if you do see this, I want to know. I do want to. I'm very curious. Where did you take the picture of um of uh, the album cover? Because my, just a guess, I think that's Destin, Florida. The Destin Beaches. That's why I think you took this photo at. I recognize those beaches. I recognize the grass. I think it's Destin, Florida. Let me know if I'm right. Oh, no. Into the nothingness. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Oh, let me come home. Home is wherever I'm with you. I can't see. The music has taken my sight. Don't mind me, just slowly sinking six feet under because you're killing me right now. Through, through the, the jungle, jungle and through the dark. dark. Love never loved one like you. I've been everywhere with, with you. Stop. I literally you can't take any more. That's the thing. Like, like it's, it's only me. you and me. Jesus, Jesus. something to Jesus. see. She makes me want to sing right now. Just nothing more pleases me. No, I just can't even say it. Like, when we come home, home is whenever I'm with you. Stop playing. Let me come home. Why are you bringing out the instrumental? Why are you at the beach right now? Why are you making classics in nature? It was great. It was just amazing. Just everything's phenomenal. Life is great. It's not better than Tom Rosenthal. It's not. It's a. It's it's sec. It's my second favorite though. It's better than original in my opinion. I like it. I'll listen to this before I listen to the original. And original I love. Tom Rosenthal's first though still. As much as I love it, I like the atmosphere. You know, you close your eyes, you can paint the picture. Just so many colors. Just you feel the heat. You feel the sand. You feel all of it. End of the day. Wherever you're at, whatever means to you home, home is whenever I'm with you. Oh my God. Oh man. I don't even know what to do now. Like, do I even rate them? Do I even need to rate this? All right. So what have we learned through a second listen that I've rejuvenized my memory. I'm going to add this all to my playlist so I don't forget it. She pretty much all the strikes on phenomenal. Phenomenal. All the positive, could say all the positive things. I just, uh, I, there's not a track I didn't love, you know? She has the voice, she acts, she performs it, you know? The lyricism is very good, matching the performance, all of it coming together to make this beautiful picture. Again, the fact that she opened up with Home as the cover, and then you even, and then we went, all those songs are the most recent stuff. It's just great. It's just great. There are even tracks on here that I haven't even reviewed that I'm going to listen to later, and I know I'm going to lose my shit. I know I'm going to lose my shit. Um, again, the only issues I really had were the mixing. Or some of the lyric lyrics were just very just like AJR-ish in the sense of they're so simple. It's like, oh, yeah, this is like kids' perspective of shit sometimes. But then she'll hit these, but the way she performs them um, it overlooks that entirely. Again, the and the mixing on, um, I'm pretty sure it was Phoebe. Phoebe told me I can't say that name. I don't know why. I literally have a friend. I had a friend named that. Um, yeah, no. Um, if I was to give this a rating, I'm giving this a ten. 
Yeah, our second ever 10. Mason has sent me another person. Um, everybody, please go check her out because the clips of me freaking out do not do this This person just Sydney, if you ever see this, hope you take my criticism as well. Um, have any questions, comments, message me. Hopefully this video is out and hopefully you take this well. Artist of the day, Sydney Rose. Stay safe. Love y'all. Bye-bye.